the new world of work, fueled by rapid technology enhancements, is transforming organizations around the globe. In the digital workplace, the rules of the game have changed, allowing you to get your job done from anywhere. My name is Ulrika Hedlund. I'm passionate about technology and the impact it can have on our lives. In this video series, I'll share my expertise to help you succeed in the digital world. Hi, and very welcome to this episode of Succeed in the Digital Workplace. Today, I'm going to give you 10 tips for how to make Microsoft Teams the ultimate place for learning. Before I give you tip number one, I want to take you behind the scenes and show you a meeting that my colleague Pia and I had with one of our customers, Rich Daniels from Funtoso. Have a look. We have so many different masks, like for military, if you want to go and do parties, for diplomats, uh, but no one can travel these days. For kids, we even have one for Valentine's Day. Hi girls, so great to see you again. How are you doing? Hi Rich. Hi Rich. Good to see you again. What's up? Yeah, all great. I'm I'm great. I'm super busy these days. Business is totally booming. To keep up with demand, I've had to hire a lot of people lately. And these, of course, need to be trained. Most of them are straight out of school, so they need to be trained in literally everything how to send emails in Outlook, how to use Teams. I kid you not, most of these kids, you think they are tech savvy, but honestly, all they do is watch YouTube. So to embrace that, I'm launching a digital school in Teams. Wow, I have great. it all figured out. <laughs> Let me show you, all right? Look here. I got one of these pens for my iPad after our boot camp. Yeah. Let me show you how to do this. So, uh, try to do here. Doesn't work. Ah! Let me show you this. This is what I'm going to do here, right? So, all right. So, we're going to have a team. We call it team here. Rich Academy. Here, we need to have Outlook teams. We need to have the sales. We need to do marketing, HR mumbo jumbo crap. I think you could use yeah. some of that. What, what was that? Sorry? Uh, nothing, please continue. Right, and, and then I have all these guys here, right? So. They need, they need to learn all these things. And it's important that I want them to have quizzes so they take, can take quizzes. You see that? And I also want them to have like check boxes that they passed stuff so I can monitor them really hands on. And then I'm also thinking uh, something. Uh, I, as a manager, I'm sure every manager, if I can pull out some dashboards, reports, like I can see progress, how it's booming here. That yes, stuff. love dashboards. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, so maybe Power BI dashboard, whatever, right? Now for the content. Our 10-year-old boy helped me to set up this green screen, just like YouTubers have. And so now I've started to record these videos uh, for this digital school, of course, right? Wow, this seems so ambitious. When, when are you planning to like launch this? Uh, in two days. In two days from now. Two days? Two yeah. days? Okay. Exactly. 
But here's the thing. I'm super busy, right? I have so much to do, as you know. So you need to sort this out. I gotta go. Uh, but Rich, Rich. He, wow. Okay, I need to take a breath here. That's Rich for you. <laughs> So if you, like Rich Daniels, are planning to start a digital school, or if you just want to make sure that your employees are learning where they are every day, then the first tip is to make a plan. Like always, you need to have a clear picture of roles and responsibilities and a timeline. Now, even if we can launch a digital school in two days, it's nothing that I recommend. Tip number two, create a dedicated team and channels for learning. If you're a larger organization, it absolutely makes sense to dedicate a team for learning in your organization, where you can get together and have a more structured approach for the learning progress of your overall organization. I also recommend that each departmental team dedicate a learning channel in their team. Tip number three, leverage all types of learning content. The way we learn today is from everyone everywhere. So make sure that you leverage content from articles, from blogs, from video blogs, from webinars, from YouTube, but also structured learning like LinkedIn Learning or Coursera or Storios for that matter. Make sure that learning becomes available through these channels. Tip number four, create your own learning content. It doesn't have to be a big production that Rich had with a green screen. You can easily create your own learning by just recording a Teams meeting and saving that. Or you can create a PowerPoint presentation and add text. You can use Sway. I'm a big fan of whiteboard, as you can see. There are so many tools you can use to create your own learning content. It's important when you create your own learning content that you think about who is the audience. Also, you need to consider how long is this material valid? If you're just sharing a blog post or an article, then who cares? But if it is structured learning that you're assigning to your employees, then you need to make sure that those courses are up to date because you don't want your employees to be wasting their time on things that aren't relevant anymore. Tip number five, target learning. Everyone shouldn't be learning everything. They will be wasting their time and they will feel overwhelmed with all of this knowledge out there that they could learn. So here, it's very important that you look at ways to target learning. Here, you can use Active Directory groups to target learning to specific user groups. And in Teams, you can use tags. By using tags in Microsoft Teams, you can mention and target information to specific interest groups. Tip number six, create a landing page for learning. There's a lot of talk about Teams right now. And even if I'm talking about Teams as the ultimate place for learning, it doesn't mean that we've forgotten about SharePoint. We love SharePoint. And with the integration that Microsoft are doing now, so with Viva Connections, the SharePoint and Teams integration is getting better and better. So I warmly recommend that you create a landing page for learning where users can go and they can explore and they can find things that they're interested in to learn. Tip number seven, encourage an open dialogue. This is where Teams is such a great application because it really is a place where everyone can share and communicate with each other. And this is something that you should really encourage when it comes to learning. What was good about this learning? What is missing? What are people looking for? Encourage an open dialogue. Tip number eight, boost teams with learning apps. 
Now, even if we've talked about ways in which you can make Teams the ultimate place for learning, if you really want to create a digital school where you want to enroll users to various courses, you want to track progress, you want them to have quizzes and certificates, and you want to follow up and have a report and scorecards on learning, well, then you need more than what's available in the out-of-the-box solution with Microsoft Teams. We at Storios have worked with digital learning for many, many years. We use an app called LMS365. It's a full-fledged learning management system where you can also add the app to Teams. This way, users can get personalized dashboards, they can access their training directly from within Teams, and as a learning organization, you can keep track of who has learned what, and you can also make sure to send reminders to those who have not completed their training. Something else that we're really excited about is Viva Learning. It's not available yet, but it's coming as a public preview soon. So with Viva Learning, you will have an app within Teams that will help you show all of the learning that you have within your organization or in other third-party content sources. This way, users will easily be able to access learning and also share with others. Tip number nine, use chatbots. Nowadays, there are more and more intelligent chatbots that you can use. So why not also use this for learning? We have a chatbot, her name is Stella. So what we're doing is we're feeding her with all of our collective knowledge. She also knows all of the Microsoft videos from Microsoft Learning Pathways and can answer questions like, what is a VLOOKUP? Or when should I create a private channel? So I warmly recommend to have a look at chatbots as well for learning. The final tip, tip number 10, have fun! Learning should be fun. I don't know if you have kids, but when I see my kids in school, when they've had fun and they've learned something new, they shine. And this is something that we need to think about. As human beings, our brains are wired to learn. When we learn new things, dopamine is released. So we should have fun when we learn. So why don't we go back and see how it went for Rich and if Pia and I were able to help him. Have a look. Hey girls, so what you got for me? Well, I think you're gonna be pleased. So prepare to be amazed. Okay. Let me introduce you to Rich Academy. This is your digital school where everyone can go to learn from the very best to be their very best. Instead of creating channels for each topic, we just have three channels. The general channel, this is where you go to do your learning. We have a place to go to ask questions and finally a place where everyone freely can share their learning. Now, let's have a look at the tabs. At the very top, your welcome video. Welcome to Rich Academy. This is where you get to learn from the very best to be your very best. Next, we have the dashboard. You wanted to be able to see how everyone in your organization is progressing on their learning. The dashboard is a place where all line managers can see the learning progress of their direct reports. Here you can also see your own training, things that you have planned and things that you have completed and all of your training. Using the LMS365 application, you can assign various learning topics to your employees and you can set a due date and also send reminders if they haven't completed them. Finally, you have the course catalog. And of course, we have already filled your course catalog with courses from Storials on how to work smarter with Microsoft 365. So here, all of your employees will learn how to work in Teams and how to send those email in Outlook. In today's modern world,
In each of the courses, we also provide quizzes. This is so that users can test their knowledge. And of course, at the end, they will get a certificate. And you can decide how long the certificate should be valid for. At any point in time, when you want to share a new learning, you can just create an announcement. Type in a headline. and then search the course catalog. In addition to sending out an email with an invitation to the new learning, you can then also easily share it in the channel. A good tip is to always include some kind of an extra little encouragement to get people going. Of course, you can fill the course catalog own course content since you have the full Storios LMS 365 license. So tell me, Rich, how is that going for you? Y yeah, about that, uh, sorry, just been too busy. But, but that's fine. Uh, we'll get that sorted because we can do my introduction movie and then your content, the Storios content, in there. We'll start. Well done, girls. That sounds great. Hey, I need to shoot. I uh, need to keep this body in trim, you know. See ya. We know. Okay. Bye, Rich. Bye.